Welcome to the Potter Blog site, May 15, 2013. Well, we found out what a uh, underground burning radioactive Superfund site landfill smells like. It smells like somebody's burning dirty radioactive socks with used embalming fluid. The map you see in front of you here is a uh, layout of this uh, Westlake landfill here in St. Louis, Missouri. It's been making the news because of an underground fire, a, a horrible stench, and the fact there's unknown quantities of radioactive material that were dumped in this site. I believe this is also a super fun site. So there we have it. Underground, unknown dumped radioactive material, burning underground, super fun site. Uh, the base part of this map comes from the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. And if we go through here, scroll down, uh, you'll see their map. And then what we did was we annotated it with the uh, Geiger counter findings we made when we drove around this facility. So let's take a look at our map. Okay, first things to notice was that the wind was out of the west, out of the south-southwest at 10 miles an hour. That's roughly this direction. I think 10 miles an hour was the peak. Uh, there are two areas marked in this map as being radioactive. This sort of pinkish purpley area here, OU1, and the pinkish purplish area here, this other area 2, OU1. Now, there's a lot of uncertainties in this map. Because yeah, I think a lot of this stuff here, especially in this OU1 area, was secretly dumped. But uh, huge amount of stench here. And what we found out, as we drove around it with our Geiger counter, was is where there's high stench, there's high uh, counts per minute of radioactivity. And so what we discovered was, up here in this region, uh, the upwind region, we got readings about uh, 27 counts per minute. Uh, down here in this region, we got readings around 30 counts per minute. And then when you come up into this region, we had readings of uh, 35 counts per minute. Now I'll show you in a minute this some actual video where we made this drive. But uh, this was a definite correlation between high stench equaling high counts per minute on the Geiger counter. Now, one thing to note about the Geiger counter is that we believe it has a one minute moving average. So whatever reading you see on the Geiger counter, that's the average of the last minute. And it's constantly updating, but it's the last minute's average. So there's a, there's a wee bit of lag as the Geiger counter rises based on where it was in the last minute when we were driving around. Uh, the other thing we discovered was is that uh, you get higher readings as you approach here with the wind from the south versus coming in this way, the readings were slightly less high. And again, I think that has to do with uh, uh, partially with uh, the wind direction, um, what's already fallen out on the ground, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, go to the movie real quick. And what we'll show you is, is in this movie, in the video we took, uh, it starts off right about here. And uh, we waited here for about a minute to let the Geiger counter stabilize. And that was uh, 28 counts per minute. And this area here was not too stinky at that time. And the video starts with us driving in this direction. And then right around in here it starts to stink and the uh, counts per minute go up. And then we keep on going and they go higher. And then, eh, boy, it really stank really bad right through here. Literally, somebody burning dirty socks and used embalming fluid. Then we drove up this road, and this, is, this road was following the same direction the wind was going. And watching the video, and there's a fire station here. And if you see the flags at the fire station, you can see the flags are pointing out in this direction over here. We turn around, and we came back, we stopped here at this light for a minute, till it not a full minute, but long enough for it to turn green, and then we moved out in uh, this direction, ending up down here. So, let's go through the video here, and we'll show you. Alright. You see it's 28 counts per minute. That's been stabilized over sitting there for about a minute there in the last uh, parking zone. Now that's the radioactive area right there. Now if you watch the counting for a minute after this, you'll see it starts to go up. 
Again, it's a minute, I think a one minute moving average. Let's At this point, this oh. smell is incredibly bad, and I'm wearing a dust mask too, an N95 mask. See if it goes back up. Now, we're moving away from the landfill, but we've only been in the high radioactive area for a very few seconds. And notice the flag right here. Notice which way the flag is going. Now we're going to do a Yui here. Now that we've been in this in the higher stench area for about a minute, the stench is a little lower right here. Now we're going to turn around and drive directly into the radioactive stench. I'm going to put the Geiger counter up out the uh, sunroof to get it directly Go facing. 29 CPM again. Oh. All right, so now we're at the fire station. And now we're going to head directly into the gate. 30 CPM. So it's slowly starting to pick up now. Again, it's a one move moving average. Activity. It's spitting out of the ground probably because of the fire. Oh, 30 CPMs. Remember, this is a minute moving average. Uh, now you'll see it climb as we pause. St. Charles Rock Road. Now the map indicates the radioactive area is up here to the right. These bulldozers are. So this is the, I think the radioactive area is actually right there. Yeah, it was off. So as you can hold up. It's, it's off to the back, right, back, actually. Back. 32 C, 33 CPM. So as you see as we sit here, the radioactivity goes up. Holy cow. Yeah, the smell is that bad. Burning used radioactive socks and, and used embalming fluid. That's the smell. Man, what I don't. The modern log site doesn't do. Definite increase in radioactivity. Now we're moving away. Stench is dropping a little bit. Accounts per minute are dropping too. Yep, back up. Car credit suit. Working our way back in the upwind section. It'll take a minute or so for this to drop, and we're going to get back out of here. There you have it. It's a. Uh, I don't know what to say about this. I don't know how you solve this problem. You know, if there's one be benefit, is at least in this case, you can smell the radioactivity. 
because it, at least it seems to correlate with the stench. But thank God we live upwind of this. If you live downwind of this, holy cow, this is a nightmare.